Hey guys, this is Mike Tarala with Click, and I'm super excited to present what's new in the June 2018 release of ClickSense. ClickSense June 2018 boasts new capabilities and features that I'm sure you will find innovative and amazing. Let's jump right in. Instead of saving the best for last, I'm highlighting one of our new remarkable capabilities immediately, our new Inside Advisor. Building on top of our new Cognitive Engine we released in April, it is designed to bring a new augmented intelligence-driven experience. With literally one click, our Cognitive Engine analyzes your data and suggests various visualizations that may be of interest to you, which helps jumpstart your operational analysis. If the initial suggestions meet your needs, simply add them to your sheet where you further can tailor your analysis in edit mode. If you don't see what you're looking for, Use the search bar and type in the fields of interest using a sentence to express your analysis intent, such as sales by country. The visualizations are automatically generated representing what you are looking for and can be easily added to your sheet. Building on top of the chart recommendations we added in the April 2018 release, we have now included alternative chart suggestions available in the Properties panel which complement the initial chart recommendation. If the initial visualization is not exactly what you need, you can expand the Chart Properties panel and choose from a list of alternative visualizations that make sense for your current data set, in turn reducing the amount of time you spend building visualizations. Other UI and visual enhancements include the option to enable sheets to vertically scroll or be extended beyond the length of the screen. This capability provides more flexibility to the designer and allows them to put more objects on a single page, optionally reducing the number of sheets an app may have and giving more layout control where needed. Furthermore, you can now resize the grid layout while objects are already on the canvas, allowing you to make fine-tuned adjustments while creating your analysis. We have also added new capabilities to the expression editor, making it easier and more versatile when building expressions. Improvements include tabs that list table, field, and aggregation selections, including checkboxes for distinct and total clauses. And variable and function menus provide a comprehensive list of functions and variables that you can insert into an expression. Other UI improvements include the ability to easily switch a chart's measure or dimension in the Properties panel with a simple drag and drop, and the ability to quickly select the measure's aggregation using a simple drop-down menu. You can also control which specific columns are displayed in a straight table using expression conditions. Improving upon our new map object released in April, we have added a new line layer, which supports new use cases for visualizing flows of entities between geographic locations. ClickSense June 2018 now includes improved app management capabilities from directly within the Hub interface. In addition to publishing an app to a stream from the Hub, you can now overwrite and republish it to the same stream, making it much easier to promote your changes. We have also added a new dedicated section for published apps, which provides better organization of your workspace and reduces clutter. Additionally, personal sheets created and published to the community by users can now be easily included as part of the approved base sheets of an app, allowing new insights from the broader community to be easily included. With ClickSense June 2018, we have included five new data connectors available in our ODBC package. These include Presto, Apache Drill, Apache Phoenix, Apache Spark, and MongoDB, allowing you to easily connect to even more types of data than ever before. In addition to these connectors, our file connector now allows you to apply filtering conditions on your fields therefore reducing the file's data to just what may be needed for your analysis. With this release of ClickSense, there are new accessibility improvements for the visually and mobility impaired, supported by enhanced keyboard navigation and the use of screen reader tags, allowing those with impairments the ability to hear and interact with the analysis being displayed on screen. Tab. KPI dashboard sheet navigate between the objects with arrow keys. Press enter to view the data. Press shift plus enter to enter full screen mode. Enter. View data. Enter. Article region. Grid. Grid. Column 1 row 1. Minnesota. Ohio. California. Texas. Enter. 
Our screen reader tags take advantage of the JAWS screen reading software available from Freedom Scientific. For more information regarding this new accessibility support, please see our companion videos and resource links where this video is posted. In addition, UI elements such as text, icons, and images are now compliant with accessibility standards for contrast and readability, and also support zooming, resizing, and screen magnifiers. Our existing keyboard navigation now includes the ability to navigate to and select table cells, and you can switch from chart to straight table for value inspection and selection. Accessibility features such as these ensure everyone can utilize ClickSense to its fullest. In our June release, we're also releasing our first phase of multi-cloud capabilities for ClickSense Enterprise. These capabilities are part of our multi-cloud strategy designed to give you full freedom and flexibility to choose where your data should be kept and where your analytics should take place across multiple on-premise and cloud environments. In this first phase, ClickSense Enterprise users can distribute apps from ClickSense Enterprise on-premise environments to highly elastic cloud environments for consumption. That includes the private or public cloud of your choice, and if you're on subscription, the use of ClickCloud services. All users have a single license and login across environments, ensuring a seamless experience and easing administration and governance. The first phase of multi-cloud capabilities will allow you to efficiently scale policy-driven analytics and app consumption, and expand the reach of your platform to new use cases. You can deploy on-premise and in the cloud in the way that makes most sense today and seamlessly evolve it in the future. For more information, please check out our companion videos and resource links where this video is posted. I hope you enjoyed learning what's new in ClickSense June 2018. For more information on this release and other enhancements not mentioned in this video, please check out our release notes and other resource links where this video is posted. If you want to learn more about Click, you can check out our website and these self-service links. And don't forget to join the discussion with myself and others in the Click community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.